And now we have the third series. Now this was another class that I had about three, four times in the, in the week. Now, third years, let me get, okay, now I've got, you see, as soon as I get an image in my head as to who I'm talking to, I've got a few uh, right at the front, you're interact with the ones at the front, and then, but they moved around. There was meant to be a classroom order, which I asked them to sit down, you know, the teacher's got a plan, so you can talk to people with different names. Um, but they kind of mixed that about <laughs> on different days, until, you know, there was a girl that was over there, and then she went, I remember she was over there with a friend, and then she was over there, and then I said, over here, and it's like, oh, they take our seats, whatever. And so I can't remember any of the names, really. I can really can't remember any of their names. Um, and even though I saw them two or three times, three, three, four times. Uh, what did they have to do? They had to do, oh my God, they had to do money. I mean, they were like, uh, were they a top set? Yeah, I think they were meant to be a top set third year. And they had to do money, they were doing the top of the money, which for me, and I told them, money, oh. And it was to do with APR, annual percentage rate, was it? Something like that. And appreciation, depreciation, and compound interest. Okay, and I got them to, they got the work done. Okay, they got the work done. Okay. And on the first lesson, I think they, I, you know, interaction, da 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 da, it's quite nice. Then they got the work, and they did 20 minutes solid work. And then I thought, well, ten minutes towards the end, here we go. Uh, let me see if I can do something interesting. Okay, and I thought that if we do the same amount of work that the normative old lessons do, they do in a short period of time, that gives us more time. You see, and that's the way I thought. Again, trying to encourage the kids to do stuff so that we can do things more interesting. They think more interesting. I think it's more interesting. You see, and this, and what I tried to do, this is rather stupid. What I tried to do was I tried to teach them two plus three is equal to five. Okay, uh, I tried to teach them. <laughs> I can't teach them. They have already been taught that. They can already do that. But when you do 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, you say, what's going on now? Because I'd recently worked this out with a friend, and I thought it was quite interesting. And I wanted to see, and I explained to them, I wanted to see if I could explain this to you, how odd I think that is. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, and what I think is happening now. And I tried to get them, it didn't quite work. And we spent a while, and a lot of them were like, and I was saying, oh, a lot of you look at this going, oh, no. but that's good, you kind of try, I suppose, and I'm not quite explaining this very well. It didn't work out that well. But on another day, like a uh, day later actually, I remember being with this kid, and I remember he, he was just like, I this <laughs> for the entire time, I was wrapped around like two plus eight with five, and interacting with people, and he was just like, like, like this. And so I, was, I remember talking to the guy, and he said, well, what did you think? He was just like, yeah, I liked it. Really? What? Do you understand it? Um, it was, and this is the word he came up with, mesmerized. <laughs> Mesmerizing. I'll put this on pause, shall I? Uh, can I put this on pause? Mm. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't catch it anyway, sadly. So, um, so mesmerizing, you said mesmerizing. I mean, what is that? Uh, that's kind of pleasant. You came up that word. Anyway, um, I tried to do this abstraction, the point of abstraction. And the thing about abstraction, can go, and I think minds can go off in that direction, and it just goes, it just turns into this dissolution. I'm trying to indicate, well, two plus three, I mean, look, okay, uh, a friend of mine came up with this, it's quite interesting. All right? Okay, do you see that? Okay. Normally, what we see in front of us is three and two. Okay? What do you see there? See, some of you just see five, some of you see four and one. And the whole point about saying 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 is that we can look at this as being a group of 3 and a group of 2, or we can look at this as being 5 together. Or there's somebody again. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> okay. Are we still there? Are we still there? Are we still there? <laughs> right. Um, so what were we talking about? Mesmerizing. Shit. What were we talking about? Oh, what we're talking about? Uh, mesmerizing, yes. Can you chat with a bunch of kids? Oh, I can't remember. 